This routine is designed to wake up your entire spine, your entire body, and calm and settle your mind in the morning. So we're going to take a big inhale, lift the arms all the way and up, interlace your hands, stretch them upward. As you exhale, gently fold all the way up and over your legs, let the head and neck hang heavy. And we're going to open up the spine a bit, so press your left fingertips into the ground just a couple inches in front of your feet, soften up your left knee, reach your right arm all the way upward. And then same thing up and over to the other side, right fingertips find the ground, soften up the right knee, easy breaths here, opening up your spine like a big piece of taffy. Gently unwind all the way back to the middle, let the weight of your head hang heavy, lengthen out all the way forward on an inhale, press your palms, we'll step right back to your plank pose here, top of your push-up position, top of your head lengthening out in front of you, heels reaching back behind you, go ahead and lift your hips up, open to a nice side plank here, you can keep the feet where they are, you can stack them, if you want to open up the back a bit, gently press those toes back behind you, lengthen out the whole spine, if this is too much, just lower that right knee down, you can definitely back it off and take it easy here. When you are ready, gently bring yourself all the way back to the middle, and same thing up and over to your other side here, pressing up the whole left hand, keeping the fingers spread nice and wide. Again, any variation that feels good to you, make sure whatever you're doing, it always feels expansive and never feels shortened or crunched here, so you can always back off. Gently rolling all the way back to your plank pose. We'll ease the knees down, sinking into a nice gentle upper dog. Let the shoulders roll away from your ears. Take a big inhale, lengthen the chest all the way upward. Maybe sway a little side to side, open up your body. Tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back to your downward dog. On your next inhale, we're going to lift the right leg all the way up and back behind you. Downward dog splits super high. If it feels good, to open up the hips, bend the knee, reach your toes up back behind you, making some space here. Lengthen out the leg. We'll lift your knee right up into your forehead nice and high. And go ahead and take it all the way up and back behind you. Downward dog split. Again, just like that, lift your knee right up into the forehead. This time, softly placing that foot right between your hands. Low lunge. Let your hips sink downward toward the ground. Nice and steady here. Gently take the back knee down. And then up to you can stay right where you are. If you feel like there's more room to work with, you can crawl the fingertips back. You can reach the arms all the way upward. If that feels good, just go easy and go, go slow so you can always back off if you need to. Maybe press the hands on top of that front thigh. And we'll press your left fingertips down, spin from your belly all the way and upward here, looking up to the fingertips and beyond. And we'll bring both fingertips down either side of your front foot, tuck the toes, lift your hips right upward, let your torso soften over that front leg, and relax the head, relax your whole body, breathing easy here. We'll put a nice bend in that front knee, press your palms down, we'll step it right back to your downward dog, relax the heels. Relax your shoulders. Same thing, other side. Big inhale, take the left leg way up. Open up the hips, bend the knee, reach the tippy toes off back behind you if that feels good. Lots of air moving here. Gonna lift the knee right up into your forehead and all the way back and up. And again, just like that, lift the knee right nice and high, right up into the forehead. Softly place your foot right between your hands, low lunge. Up on the fingertips, let your hips really soften downward toward the ground. When you're ready, gently ease your back knee down to the ground. Flatten the toes if that feels good. If you have knee problems here, you might want to keep the back toes tucked also. So just go easy. Make sure you're always feeling into your whole body. Release the hands back behind you. If you'd rather reach the arms all the way upward, it's a nice option too. Again, just go slow, go easy. Whatever version feels best for you. Breathing a whole lot. And we'll press your right fingertips down, spin around from your belly all the way up and out to those fingertips. Nice wide open chest and collarbones. We'll bring both fingertips down either side of your front foot. Tuck the back toes, lift your hips all the way upward. Let your torso soften and release over that front leg. Let the head go, let your neck go. Every time you exhale, sinking just a bit further. When you're ready, a little bend in the front knee, press your palms from the down. We'll step all the way back to your downward dog. And then nice and slowly, one simple step all the way up till you meet your hands. Nice, easy stroll here. Let the torso fold over your legs. Let the head go, let your neck go. Maybe sway a little side to side. We'll roll up one simple vertebra at a time. One to reach the top. Big inhale. Take up as much space as you like. Press your palms. Interlace the hands. Lift your palms upward. Reach out. And we'll bring your palms right in front of your chest, connecting right up into your heartbeat. And great job. Have a wonderful day.